Today, we're back in my 1.18 hardcore world. And don't mind me, I'm just taking in the beautiful view over here. Oh, how I love this lighthouse so much. But anyways, we have so many amazing building plans for today's episode. And the first plan is kill the bee. Oh, you are lucky. All jokes aside, my first plan is very, very important. And it involves this here storage building. For this entire hardcore series, I've stored all my blocks either in this small room or in these small storage shelves scattered around the world. And I'll be honest, I am just not digging it anymore. So that being said, we're gonna say, forget this little dinky storage building and our shelves. We're gonna make a gigantic storage warehouse to store every single block in the game. But oh, don't worry, we got plans for this building later on. Just wait and see. But before I get too crazy with building things, I wanna show you guys something. Last episode, we built this lighthouse, right? Check it out, I made a custom rock mountain for the lighthouse to stand on. I completely finished it. There's details. It looks amazing. There's moss on top. I love it. Well, yeah, that was really it. <laughs> Just wanted to flex a little bit. And we got a nice little pathway to get into the lighthouse. Things are glorious. Speaking of which, why do I still have this giant cobble thing here? I think I used this bridge to transport villagers from the village over there for my iron farm, but now it needs to go. Much better. Well, that being said, I am ready to build. So first things first, let's go get some materials. We're gonna need some wood. How did this happen? And I'm gonna need some stone. Some stone. Oh, would you leave me alone? And while I mine, if you're enjoying the series, please subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, I think I have all the blocks I need. So now it's time to think about location. Cause again, this is gonna be a pretty big build. It's probably gonna be like the size of the barn. So where should I put it? Oh, if we can, I'd love to put it here on like the hillside with the great view. Oh snap, wait, I wanna do this. So first off, we gotta do a little bit of terraforming to make some more space for ourselves. So I started making some good progress, then I got distracted. Hold on a second. I swear I just heard a bunch of skeletons below me. Please be a spawner. Please- Oh, hello. Not a spawner. Not a spawner. Fight, 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 fight. You guys have no idea how badly I need to find a skeleton spawner. I need bones so badly. Thank you. Wait a second, there's a huge cave in here and I see emeralds. This is so sick, how long has this been here, dude? Oh man, little mining adventure, sure thing. Oh, no way it comes out at the village. A little shortcut for the future, I like it. So many emeralds, man. <gasps> no, no way, oh, it's a zombie spawner. I would have screamed if I found a skeleton spawner right when I was talking about one. What do you got for me? Name tag and Golden apple. Oh, and bones. I need bones. Where actually is this? Dude, we're right here. That's so sick. I will make an XP farm there one day for sure. But anyways, let's get back to building. And there we go. The build is totally done. Do you guys like it? I'm so sorry you had to hear that joke. But anyways, we are now ready to actually build. The place looks wide enough. I think the view will be nice from down here. I guess we'll find out. But that being said, let's get to building. So first off, I had to do a little bit more terraforming, but I also had visitors. Oh, hello. Hello, gentlemen, how you doing? I did not miss you guys, by the way. Next up, we started counting out our wood pillars, building them up and bringing them all across to connect. We then laid cobblestone as a foundation and put deep slate above that for the walls. How do we feel about the size right now? I think the front door is gonna be like over here. I think it's big enough, right? Chest, 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 chest stacked up. That'll be good. That will be a lot of chests. Well, carrying on, it was now time to make the roof. So I made a small roof on the side and a big tall roof in the middle and I liked that combo a lot. All right, well, here's a little update to the shape of the building, and there's no real details on it yet. I just have the general shape and the roof done, but so far, I like it. I have these little small roofs on the side. I got a big roof in the middle, and that also means I can make a second floor right up here. Hello, Enderman, how you doing? Leave, bye. Ah! That just scared me so bad. Well, anyways, I wanna add one more really cool part to the structure here. I'm thinking maybe over here on this side, I can do a little bit of like a tower and maybe have it come out like right up there next to the roof. Yeah, you know what? Let's try it, why not? But first, we sleep. Rise and shine. Hello, Charlton, how you doing? So how should I go about this? I'll put it right here. So let's bring the wall out by one and let's bring the pillar up a little bit taller into the roof and make sure it all lines up. And now here's the million dollar idea. I want to use brick in this little tower thing. So do a little bit of this around the place. And now I just got to do a little bit of like a top here to kind of round it off. 
And the finishing touches will go block, wall, fence. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, I like that. Now again, there's not many details on the house yet, so there's a lot to do as far as making it look prettier, but for the general shape of it, I love that. Well, now it's detail time. Ow. But this is absolutely my favorite part about building, adding in these small details and making builds come to life. So yeah, let's get to work. Funny side note, for the first time, I tried building while listening to music and I kind of forgot I was recording. <laughs> Excuse me. Where are you? Bro, are you s I just put this door down. Why? Get out. Get out. Give me that door back, fool. Oh, there's more of you. Stay safe, my children. And I think we are done. What do you guys think? Let's get a better angle, shall we? Right up here. And boom. It's kind of far away still. But oh my gosh, it came out great. We have all this texture on the sides on the first floor. We got a textured roof. We got windows. We even have a balcony here on the front, which by the way is fully usable. And we walk in into our second floor with an entrance into the brick tower. Not sure what I'm gonna put in there yet, but I'll put something in there. Maybe like my shulker box or something like that. But we head downstairs to a big empty room that has nothing in it yet. But wait, there's more. My favorite part of the entire build is this little cargo crane full of barrels to kind of signify this is a storage house. It has no practical purpose for me in the world, but oh, I love it. It looks so cool. And from far away, it looks even cooler. Hold on one second though. I gotta do something here real fast. These stupid gosh darn zombies keep spawning and breaking down the door. This one's okay, but upstairs they broke another door and I'm getting fed up. So we're making bodyguards. We're making bouncers. If you want to enter the club, you need his approval first. Let's go. And you're going to be tied up somewhere. You can hang right there. All right, bodyguard, do your thing. Or rather, bouncer. Sorry. Hello, mythical horse. Why are you going into my dog pen? You're not a dog. You're a horse. You win this round, giant dog. And one more bouncer over here at the front door. Boop. And you chill there. Now, no one's ever gonna break into my villager breeder ever again. My children, you're safe. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks, Endermen. But anyways, now it's the most important part of the episode. It's officially time to begin putting this place to use. It's time to fix the floor, put down our chests, and actually use this place as a storage house building thing. So yeah, let's do it. A nice oak floor. Oh, side note, if I ever got to make a basement, right down here's already opened up for me. Hey, buddy, you got something in your nose. You need a tissue? No? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was just asking. Jeez. And about one hour later, introducing Chestville, AKA my storage building. Look at it, chest galore. In the middle, I got some workstations for things I might want to use, like a stone cutter, like a smithing table, crafting bench. Got some nice little flower pots there as well. And this is a gigantic storage system about to wait, there's more. We go upstairs and boom, this is a very special room to me. These chests up here are junk chests. So if I ever have any random junk that I'm just in a to you know put away I can throw them in here and I can go take care of them later on so these are like my lazy chests and as I talked about we're using this little tower for shulker storage I'm gonna call it my shulker closet but look at that racks for shulkers of all various sorts and kinds and like oh my gosh I love how it came out this little room here it's just so cute and like quaint. I like it. And we got the balcony too with the great view. Guys, this came out so good. I'm not saying it's like perfect. It is still a little bit like rough on the top and like on the walls a little bit, which I can fix over time. But look at it. It looks so good in general. I'm a fan. And now all I gotta do is go move all these items into there, which is gonna be super annoying. But luckily you don't have to watch that because I can edit videos. So poof. And here we are, a completed storage room with color coding on the floor, blocks in all these chests. And oh my gosh, this took a long time to do. I was starting to go insane. 360 no scope. Oh my gosh, dude, my copper oxidized. That was a normal piece of copper. It almost fully oxidized while I was building this. How long has it been? Yeah, who cares? Get over it, Farsi. But anyways, the upstairs is a little bit different now. I had to actually put more chests up here for a certain items. So the whole junk chest idea, not gonna do that. But yeah, we're done. We're all good. I swear to God, if an Enderman comes in this building and picks up one of these blocks, those are fighting words. They're gonna be dead so fast. But all in all, we completed our new chest storage warehouse thingy, whatever I'm gonna call it. Storage building, I guess. Oh, but anyways, look at this building now. This old room is totally empty. It looks kind of sad now. But as I promised earlier, I'm gonna do something really cool with this building, but not yet. We've been building all day. So let's go have a little bit of fun. What are you doing, dog? All right, fine, I'll join you. Are you gonna leave me? 
Okay, I'll do it myself. I don't care. I'm having so much fun, right, Charlton? Ignore that. Carrying on. Since I have so much new space in the storage warehouse, I want to go on a big fun mining trip and get tons of blocks and gems and, and everything. Because believe it or not, I don't have many blocks in this world or many like gems in this world. I use all my blocks for building things and I don't really mine enough to get a lot of gems. So yeah, let's go find a big cave. Oh, hello. Is this a big cave? It looks like one. Uh oh. Oh, don't die, don't die. Ah, oh, so many mobs. Ah, oh, 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 put my armor on. Have I been down here before? What the heck, man? I have been here before. Carrying on. Whoa, that was pretty sick. Now at this point, I couldn't find any more big caves, so I just decided to go adventuring. Oh wait, pit stop. I don't have any melons in this world yet. Somehow, I don't know how that makes any sense. Oh. Hey, what's up, dog? Funny seeing you here. What you got for me? I think all bad stuff, right? Maui despawned. Dang it. What do we have here? A ship in the sand? What do we got in this thing? Hey, go away. Ah, this is a mutiny. I'm your captain. Chest. Pumpkins, I guess. Big nether portal with nothing of any value to me. Well, at least I have you, giant gold block. Gimme. Ow, I got an achievement for that. And we're back home. That was a fun little break. I had some fun, got some loot. Oh, wrong building. Gotta break the habit now. I gotta go this way. Also, I gotta make a little bit of like a staircase here to get down nicely. Hello again, beautiful. I am still so not used to where things are. Where is gravel? I don't see gravel. Oh, wait, there it is. Whoopsies. Hold on one sec. I gotta go into the cow farm and I gotta breed these guys. I kind of forgot about them. Hello, cows. I didn't forget about you. I love you all. And I go boop and I go boop and that should put the babies down at the bottom, right? Eventually. Oh wait, press the button. And yeah, there they are. Yeah, they're so happy. Me too. Oh, okay. I ruined the fun, I guess. But anyways, I've kept you guys waiting enough. It is time to work on this beautiful building now and give it its new purpose. We're gonna turn this building into a lumberjack wood shop. So basically right now, when I go to get wood, I walk over this way, go over to that big forest over there and bring the wood back over here. But maybe it'd be nice to have a place to store a little bit of extra wood. So if I need wood in a hurry, I can just go right here and grab some. Ignore the fact that I just made a chest building. I just like making builds that make the world come to life and this will definitely make the world come more to life because it makes sense so let's get to work i'm gonna open up this wall right here and make a little garage i think a little bit of this honestly not bad but i do want to get rid of the door now because who needs this all right looking good now i think i'm gonna match the same garage on the other side too just to make it easy on both sides oh but the poor garden i don't want to get rid of you but i kind of have to because i want to put stuff here I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry and there we go both sides are done and the flowers have been replaced over there with a small homage paid right here but that being said here comes the fun part i got stone cutters that kind of look like log cutters in a way so i'm gonna put some of these on the inside on the outside and I'll make this place look a little bit nicer too. In fact, you know what? Great idea. Forget the front yard here. Let's have all the logs just here in the back. Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. And now we need wood. I need a tree farm so badly. Like, you guys have no idea. And I promise you one day it will happen because I recently found out you can make one using, like, redstone and stuff. Ooh, a little birch wood too would look pretty nice, huh? All right, check this out. Ready? We got logs coming down here. And then we tie it up with rail so it doesn't move anywhere in the wind. Well, that wouldn't move with the wind anyway. As a matter of fact, why do they tie logs down in real life anyways? I don't get it, but I'm also not very smart. So yeah, <laughs> tie some more down, get a little variety in here with the birch. And now here comes the best part of the entire build. Yeah, fence, chain, and up here, we're gonna be hanging a big log like this. And let's put a little table down right here. Please fit, please fit, please fit. It fits! Let's go! How sick does that look? Oh, I love it. It looks so good. And I can have like an assembly line kind of thing where we have like multiple of these coming down. Wait, even better. Put some little pieces of logs here so it looks like they kind of broke off this thing when they were getting chopped. Oh, I'm a genius! Maybe I'll sneak a small one right here just for a little birch log. Oh, going to <laughs> and go like that. Oh, and then put some birches around the place. Guys, 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 guys. Throughout the history of mankind, there's been many geniuses who have been called crazy when they were alive. I think I'm a genius. No one knows it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And the final thing I'll do is put a little shelf somewhere. Again, I'm not really going to use it, but just, you know, for the story of the world, for the lore, I want to have a shelf. Because ladies and gentlemen, never forget, it's about having fun in your world and making a story and not just making, you know, the practical build all the time. Because this build here has no practicality in the world. It makes no sense at all why I'm building it, but it just looks cool. So yeah, I'ma keep it. And boom, we are officially done. 
that's a wrap. Actually, hold on one second. And now we're officially done, I promise. You just got mossed. Well, now I was planning to go to the end because last episode I said if the video got 2,000 likes, I would go respawn the Ender Dragon. And surprisingly, I am so happy that we did not get it this time. I did not want to fight the Ender Dragon today. But that being said, let's change that for this episode. If this video gets 2,000 likes, I will explode 800 pieces of TNT. So if you enjoy explosions, like the video. Now that being said, I'm gonna go over here to my sugarcane farm because I realized something. I pretty much have an automatic farm for every kind of crop or animal farm in my world except for sugarcane. So I kind of want to go somewhere like underground, make a little hole, and make an AFK sugarcane farm so I don't have to always come and chop these by hand. Even though I love doing this, it is a little tedious at times. So let's do that. I'm gonna need some redstone stuff. Kind of forget how to craft observers. Ah, quartz. How silly am I? Make a few of you. Aw, oh, check it out. I can take shortcuts now. This is not really a shortcut, but still, it's the scenic route. Ah, on the other side we go. Hello, Mr. B. And I'll go boom. Make a little room down here for myself. And now, allow me to show you my redstone geniusness. So first we go... Oh, dang it, I forgot something. <laughs> I promise I'm a genius. Just wait a second. All right, I'm ready. We go sand on the back. We go water in the middle. Cobblestone on the back. Behind that, pistons. Observe. Observers on the back and redstone dust and I think that's it, right? It's time to test it. Do that, that, that. Yes! Auto breaks. That is how we do it. And now I just gotta make a system to collect this all using hoppers and chests, but my question is, can I waterlog a hopper? I go boom, boom, it breaks. It works. Oh, I'm so happy. I was a little bit scared there, not gonna lie. And there we go. There's a fully working sugarcane farm that works automatically. And there's absolutely no advertising here at all. None at all. I would never do that. Ever do it. And now, as promised, I want to kind of make this easier to get into as far as, you know, from there. I might have to kind of shrink the chicken pen a little bit. Sorry, guys. Is this wide enough here? I think this will be okay, right? Oh, yeah, this can be perfect. And a little that, that, and a small gate to enter. And I think that is absolutely perfect. Oh, look at it. It's cute. It's unintrusive. I like it. I'm gonna call that a success. But that being said, that's all the time I have for today. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.